Welcome to the Nines. The Nines coming live from Watch Creative Studios in Lynchburg, Virginia. Shout out to Lynch Vegas in the house. Man, it's the first ever podcast for us, and I'm your host, PJ Preston. Welcome to episode number one, number one uh, of the nines man it's about time it's been a long time coming we've been working so hard to get this fresh content out to you and man we're so excited again for this nines podcast let me explain a few things to you as we move through this podcast first of all the name the nines the nines where does that name come from the nines is simply this it means done to perfection done to perfection. You remember there used to be a saying back in the day when a person was dressed up real nice, they used to say he is dressed or she is dressed to the nines, meaning done to perfection. And as we go forth with this podcast, our desire is to do it with perfection, but we know that we're not perfect. And so we dub this uh, podcast, the nines, as the perfectly imperfect podcast podcast. And so the nines has a few different meanings for us uh, here. Uh, one other thing that it means, it, it, it's a podcast that is nine minutes, only nine minutes long, nine minutes for your ride, nine minutes for your run, nine minutes for your workout. Come on, somebody, right? So nine minutes uh, for this podcast. I believe this, uh, that uh, as we go forth, why is it nine minutes, you may ask? Why is it only nine minutes? Because I believe this. I live by this motto. Leave the people wanting more. Always leave the people wanting more. Got to leave the people. Leave the people wanting more. Yeah. And also the adult attention span is only about five to seven minutes. And so we're going to try to push it an extra two minutes and give you nine. So the nine podcast. I just want you to know as we go through this, we're going to be touching on topics that are really important to us and that sports and leadership, spiritual life, social media, a lot of different things. I believe this, we're going to be dropping wisdom scud missiles in your ear hole. Come on somebody, right? And so we want you guys to be paying attention and listening to the Nines podcast. Listen, this is my promise to you. No wasted space. No wasted space on the Nines podcast, meaning we won't be coming to you with just white noise where, you know, it won't be anything that benefits you or help you on your daily lives. And we'll also be saying things to encourage you in your daily walk in life. And so that is my promise to you. Absolutely no wasted space. Now, with that being said and getting all that intro out the way, I want to drop you uh, a leadership scud missile real quick. And, and it is this. All right. Get your get your notes ready and get your mental notes ready. Take this down. This is something that I've, I've learned and trying to live by. And it's this offer everyone your heart, but only a few people your ear. Offer everyone your heart, but only a few people your ear. Let me explain that to you. Offer everyone your heart. Uh, we ought to show love and compassion to everyone we meet. Um, I think that's one thing that our world is lacking nowadays is a lot of love and compassion. Um, so many people are are angry and so many people are upset and so many people are are um, bullying and mistreating people. And uh, listen, we need to offer people love and compassion. Um, always seek to love somebody. Always seek to say a kind word and be compassionate. Put yourself in somebody else's shoes and show them compassion. So we ought to offer everyone our heart, but only a few people your ear. Now, this is where I want to slow down a little bit and talk about this for the next few minutes we have here on the nines. Um, offer only a few people your ear. See, this is what I've learned. If uh, people have your ear, they have influence. That was so good. I'm going to say it again. If people have your ear, they have influence. Think about it, your, your classmate or your coworker. Uh, this world that we live in, social media is huge. Um, and then there are even social media influencers, okay? And so how many people have your ear? 
So um, I'm not saying that you don't listen to people and try to take in what people are saying to you, but I'm saying this, do not let people have influence over your life. Do not let somebody say something to you and then that drives the rest of your life. See, if I have your ear, I have influence, right? And if I have influence, influence should only be for those who can be trusted. See, a lot of times in this world we live in and we take social media, uh, for example, uh, we're on social media and somebody will comment on your post and uh, maybe try to roast you on your post and say, well, you know, I don't really like what you have on or I don't like the way you look or I don't like what you said. I don't like that video. And then because of that, we either take it down, we get frustrated, we get angry. Listen, you have to come to the point where you're saying, listen, I, I hear what you're saying, but what you say doesn't influence me, not the least bit. And so you have to understand that, OK, I have I'm, I'm listening to you, but you don't have my ear. You're not an influencer uh, in my life. See, so many times we get off track and we let people sidetrack us and uh, we let people uh, destroy the destiny that God has for us uh, because we're listening to people um, who don't have our best interest in mind. See, if a person has uh, your ear, they have influence. And influence is only for those who can be trusted. Let me ask you, do you have trusted people in your life? Do you have people in your life that are speaking into you and encouraging you to follow your dreams and to uh, move forward um, in all uh, that you want to do? Man, I, I know I do. And I'm I'm so thankful for that. And uh, I'm thankful that uh, this podcast is a clear reflection of that. And um, it's something that we've been talking about and wanting to do for a while and uh, been a little hesitant about doing it because I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm going to keep rambling and stumbling over myself over and over again. But listen, I think it's something that needs to be said. And uh, I think um, God has given us a voice to the world. And so as as we share this, um, I, I need you guys to know that I am not only just telling you something um, that I've heard, I am telling you something that I am living out. So offer everyone your heart, but only a few people your ear. All right. And that's what I want to do with this nine, with the nines, with this podcast. Um, I hope that we will have an influence on you, that we can be trusted that as you listen to us in the days and weeks and years to come that you uh, will trust us because we promise that we will give you good content good information good wisdom again dropping that scud missiles in your ear hole um, that will leave you feeling positive and excited about life and i thought about this as i prepare to close out um, this podcast because it's almost nine minutes i thought about this in julius caesar Mark Anthony says this, friends, Romans, and countrymen, lend me your ear. Lend me your ear. That's what I'm asking for you. I'm asking that for you for the next uh, several days and weeks and hopefully years to come that you would lend me your ear. Allow me to be an influencer in your life. Allow me to encourage you. Allow me to speak life into you as we go through this nines podcast, the perfectly imperfect podcast, man, nine minutes for your ride, nine minutes for your drive, nine minutes for your workout. Man, our time is drawing up. Our time is drawing to a close. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. I pray that you would join us. Tell your friends that we're on the air. Tell your friends, man, that we're out here and we are the Perfectly Imperfect Podcast and we're going to be bringing a lot of content uh, to encourage you. Tell somebody about the nine. <laughs>